not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Day on Dino Squad. Caruso cheats and uses his dino powers to win a football contest. But the ultimate victor may be Dr. Velocity, who uses Caruso to track down the Dino Squad. What's the basic structure of genes? What's the matter? Too busy gelling your hair to study? Very funny. What's the answer? Sorry, Caruso. That'd be cheating. Come on. I'll study after the test. Then I'll know all the answers you're giving me now. Which means my copying them isn't really cheating. It's just a function of things not happening in exactly the best order. Makes perfect sense to me, dude. Awesome. What's the answer? The basic structure of genes is two legs, a waist, and a zipper. You gotta look the ball in, son. Always keep your eyes on the ball. It's a fun game if you play it well. Did I ever tell you my college coach thought I was good enough to go pro? You could be too, if you practice more. You think so? The dinosaurs are coming! <clears throat> Where? Here, to Kittery Point! <sighs> Those are Raptors, Mom. They're a college football team from the West Coast. I know. They're recruiting new players and giving full scholarships. The Raptors are a great team, and Gold State's an excellent college. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, then I'll go for it. I could go pro, just like you always wanted to be, Dad. I hope he doesn't feel too pressured, because you played in college. Nah, he knows I'm only interested in him having fun. Welcome to Gold State University's National Football Tryouts, where one talented young player will win a coveted spot on the championship college team I'm proud to coach, the Raptors. Good luck, Caruso. What are you doing in uniform? Trying out. All right, gentlemen. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> you gotta hit it like a Raptor. Oh man, I hope Dad won't be too disappointed if I get cut. Ooh, I hope our boy won't be too disappointed if he gets cut. Nice moves! I can't let Dad down. I gotta win this. I could get past these animals if I was a bigger animal. No! Don't even think about it, Caruso. Not in front of all these people. Huh? But then again, I'd only need a little dino power.
What's this? Dino activity in Kittery Point. Again? Very interesting. Very interesting. But there's nothing showing up on the scanner except football players. Prepare the truck. We're returning to Kittery Point. This gyroscopic autopilot I designed not only steers our tyrannocycles, it's got GPS guidance and speaks four languages. Why on earth would anyone want a talking motorcycle with autopilot? Keza pizza zoom, mitnehmen and vita. Pizza de fromage à la lait, s'il vous plaît. Cheese pizza to go, please. What's the matter? I think I put too much auto in the pilot. It won't shut off. Give me a Z, A, R, give me a U, S, O. What does it spell? Airhead? No, Buzz. It spells Caruso. As in Caruso, who made it to round two of the Raptor football tryouts. Thank you very much. Hey, let me try those. Give me a B, I, G. Give me an E, G, O. What does it spell? Caruso! <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> Don't count your raptors before they've hatched. I made it to round two as well, and anything can happen. Anything can happen to you. The only thing that can happen to me is fame, fortune, and fabulous hair. Cause I've got lean, mean, dino genes. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Nothing. Certainly not that I would use dino genes to win the tryout again. Again? I mean, again, which I, uh... Dudes, sounds like Caruso's weaving one of those wicked webs again. Fine, I won't lie. I did it. So what? So? That's cheating. Why? I've got my genes, they've got theirs, and nobody's genes are identical. We all swim in different gene pools. Cheating is when you break the rules, like, uh, copying someone's test answers. Exactly. And there isn't any rule about having dino genes. We're missing the big picture here. You mean the one I'm going to star in after my football career? No, I mean the one you're going to abandon when you leave us to go out west to college. There are plenty of colleges around here where you can study and help us stop Velocity. Saving the world's more important than making touchdowns. To you, maybe, but not to my... er... not to me. There are more of us here than just you, Caruso. I thought we were a team. We were! But if I can't make my own decisions, I don't want to be a part of your team. I quit. Caruso! Wait! Let him go, Fiona. It's only the second quarter. This game isn't over yet. <laughs> This is great! Just the kind of publicity I need to boost recruiting, not to mention ticket sales for Raptor games. The fireworks and dinosaur attack will start as soon as you announce the winner. You're a genius, Zoom. A rubber Raptor attack. Brilliant! Okay, boys, this is it. The final phase of trials. One lucky athlete will be winning a scholarship and a new uniform this evening. Now let's hear a big welcome for my team, the Gold State Raptors! Okay, let's see what you kids can do against real football players. Max, you're up first. Go, Max! <laughs> nice try, Maxwell. But as far as the Raptors go, your dinosaur food. See you next year. Next victim, Caruso. You can do it, kiddo. Good luck, Irwin. Go get him, Caruso. Woo! 
If you don't pull off some magic here, Caruso, you're out of it. You know what you've got to do. But you know what Ms. Moynihan and the others will think of you if you do. Oh, but Dad'll be so disappointed. There's the dino activity again. Nothing. Just football players. Wait. Yes. If the dinosaurs that neutralized my mutant megalodon are in this area, I'll flush them out with raptors. But not the football playing kind. Spray some of the players with my primordial ooze, then keep an eye out for those dinosaurs. But don't engage them. This time, I'm going to track them back to their lair and capture all of them. Five minutes to showtime. Start getting into those rubber suits. What was that? Velocity's men. Time to rock and rats. from the fire department. I've got a permit for the fireworks. Zoom O'Donnell? Just my luck. Stop those guys! Get this off! Talk to the hand. Whoa! That was the finest piece of running I've ever seen, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our new raptor! boy. Okay, Zoo, release the rubber dinosaurs. Sorry, kid, it's stuck. It's just part of the entertainment. This isn't just a publicity stunt. Those aren't my rubber raptors. They're real and headed for the fans. I gotta get pics of this. Dude, that's the cheesiest raptor suit I have ever seen. It wouldn't even scare my grandmother. Just get it off me! Those guys aren't wearing cheesy suits. They've been oozed by Velocity's men. Roger, take Buzz and do your thing. Let's get our gear. Go, Go Dino! Sorry, sports fans, but these seats are taken by me. I knew they'd come back. They're on the field. Observe, but keep your distance. Stay low. Those oozer losers are around here somewhere. Oh, I... I'm terribly sorry. Let me get that for you. I hope it's still under warranty. <laughs> nice work, guys. Excuse me while I change into something more comfortable. Leave your bike, Max. We'll pick it up later. The dinosaur signatures have disappeared, but there's a trace of something coming from that SUV. Follow it. That's Velocity's truck. I gotta warn the guys. Oh man, my cell is in my locker. Switching to stealth mode. 
glad Max left his bike behind. Where'd it go? Oh no, they're leading Velocity straight to the lighthouse. I've gotta warn them. Think, Caruso. Think, think. Autopilot, all right. I hope this works. There's no one following us, except for Max's motorcycle. My motorcycle? Is that Caruso's, Caruso's helmet? helmet? the others. come out of nowhere, then disappear into nowhere. Where do they go? And in local news, there was another dinosaur sighting in Kittery Point this evening. But what fans thought was a raptor attack turned out to be a publicity stunt for Gold State University's football recruiting program. In other news... You're sure you don't want to accept the scholarship, Irwin? Yeah, I only tried out because I thought Dad expected me to be as good as he was. Son, all I ever wanted was for you to enjoy the game. Whatever you decide to do won't make me any less proud. You might not feel that when you hear the truth. I cheated. You said that earlier. What do you mean? How? I... I... I can change into a dinosaur. I don't understand. You mean if you decide to play for the raptors? No, I mean for real. Son, first thing in the morning, we're taking you to the doctor. <gasps> That's the real reason I keep ruining my jackets. <laughs> you guys may want to sit down on this. You don't know how much of a relief it is knowing I can share everything with you again. We're your parents, Erwin. You can share anything with us. Your dreams, your failures, anything. So I'm done with football. And as long as there's mutant monsters on the loose, I'm going to try to stop them with my team. My team, the Dino Squad. Okay, honey. Just as long as you don't let it interfere with your education. Don't worry, Mom. I know that even heroes have to do homework. Speaking of which, I better get to school. So you told them? Yeah. I explained it just the way Ms. Moynihan suggested. They were shocked at first. But, I guess there isn't much any of us can do about it, is there? 
So, we're a team again? One for all and all for one. And every man for himself. What? Man, Fiona, the Tyranno cycle is amazing. I added stealth mode, off-road capability, and an autopilot that'll follow you anywhere. Plus, now the cycle uses a hydrogen fuel cell, so no emissions, which makes it eco-friendly. Sure, upgrade Max's motorcycle. Max gets everything. Max gets autopilot, Max gets stealth mode, he even gets better fuel efficiency, while the rest of us contribute to global warming. So not fair. <laughs> Wait, Buzz, you don't understand! Something bugging him? It's Buzz. I suspect something is always bugging him. Yeah, but lately it's been that bully, Mr. Nasty McFinn, who's really been giving Buzz a hard time. That McFinn has the worst hair. But what do you want from such an oaf? Whoa! You think the bike is sweet? <laughs> Check out my magnetic counterbalance solar powered mini copter. I'm getting it ready for the bring your favorite marvel of science to physics class assignment. We're almost finished, Dr. Velocity, sir. Excellent. With this experiment, we will be able to track the flight pattern of these birds. They hold great potential for spreading the perfected primordial ooze. Once, of course, it is perfected, it won't be long now before I am ready to achieve my dream of altering the Earth into a new paradise. I shall usher in a new reign of dinosaurs. No more will these silly monkeys crowd the Earth with their pathetic existence. I will wipe them all away and bring back a true species worthy of this planet. Dinosaurs shall rule the Earth once again! Uh, sorry, didn't see you there. What you got in the box? Cookies from your mommy? <laughs> Back off, McFinn. What's your problem? My problem? You're my problem, freak boy. Tell him, McFinn. Tell him why. My problem is that you don't look right. In fact, you look stupid. You look so stupid that it, it makes me mad. You hear me? You look stupid. So you better stop being stupid, and you better stop looking stupid, or else! You are the coolest, McFinn. You sure showed Freak Boy. Yeah, Freak Boy. Freak. <sighs> you okay, Winifred? Aw, the latch on your cage got damaged, Winifred. It's, it's that McFinn. What a big loser. What a total ignorant Nimrod. I could just go dino on that guy. He would be so terrified. <sighs> Some boa constrictors can grow up to 20 feet, and many live anywhere from 20 to 30 years. That's a lot more biology class, but the boy loves his snakes. Oh, now don't you worry. I won't let her get you. Ms. Moynihan, I hate to interrupt, but I need you to sign these forms. I'll be right back, class. Look, everybody! Buzz finally got a girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, what do you guys say? Maybe that snake is Buzz's date for the prom. Man, wouldn't that be awful? I mean, I feel sorry for the snake. <laughs> hey, knock it off. That's enough. It's not cool, McFinn. I don't need no advice from you. All right, class. I'll see the rest of your scientific marvels tomorrow. No, I'm gonna go. Come on, I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, one in. Ms. Moynihan, can I leave Winifred here until tomorrow? Because I just have to get out of here. She's been fed and everything this week. She'll be fine. Don't you worry. Go on now. This experiment is going extremely well. The mutated flock is making excellent progress. They've almost reached... Hmm, Portsmouth and Kittery Point. It's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> How's everything going, Buzz? Honestly. Yeah. You okay, Buzz? Sure, I'm okay. Really. Now leave me alone. Did I just hear someone ask Buzz if he was okay? Buzz, okay? How could you tell? <laughs> Not today, Roger. Knock it off. Buzz, how could you really be okay? We heard McFinn giving you a hard time. McFinn? That guy is such a goon. I could just go dino all over his head and he wouldn't even know what hit him. Ah, the age-old dilemma between the choices of conscience. Go dino on his head. No, don't. Violence will only make more violence. Kick his backside from here up to Bangor and back down to Boston. Be strong in the face of the bully. Stand up tall. Don't let him push you around without violence. Go, Dino! Yeah. Hey! I was using those! Yes, Roger, you certainly were. And some of your ideas are pretty good. But maybe the presentation isn't helping a whole lot? I'm just so amazed, Buzz, that you haven't gone dino on McFinn. That takes a lot of self-control. I'm proud of you. Look, Buzz, if you don't want to be picked on or bullied, be more like me. Nobody picks on me because I'm so beautiful. Be more perfect, and you won't get picked on. It's that simple. Give me a break, Caruso. That's the worst advice I've ever heard. Buzz is perfect just the way he is. He shouldn't have to be anything other than what he is. Tell that to McFinn. The ignorant Nimrod. Well, what can we do? There's got to be something you can do to change the situation. We gotta look at some of the options, Buzz. Try to be assertive, but not aggressive through body language. Grrr. Stand up straight, shoulders up and back. Grrr. Now you're sporting a physical stance that shows confidence. <laughs> Excellent. Next, make eye contact with the bully. Really go eye to eye. Um, okay, not that much. It's more a figure of speech. <laughs> anger is a big problem. It's so easy to get angry when bullied. You have to control your anger because otherwise you keep the anger going. <laughs> anger makes for more anger and you feed what they call the cycle of violence. You never get anywhere that way. Plus, it's plenty hard on the furniture. You know, we could always try talking to McFinn. You tried talking to him in science class, and you saw how well that went. Yeah, I was tempted to go dino on him myself. Even more importantly, we should talk to Ms. Moynihan or the school principal. Yeah, that is vital. What about your parents, Buzz? You could talk to them. Yeah, that's true. They would help. You could always try to avoid McFinn. He looks for me. He follows me. I never did anything to him. I don't get it. 
He always seems to find me whenever I'm alone. It's kind of silly to be afraid, because I face crazed and crazy mutant sores all the time. But, but with McFinn... With McFinn, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to deal with him in human form. And that also makes it harder. But don't worry, we'll stick by you, no matter what. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? The satellite feed is picking up mutant sores, and they're coming in fast. It's some type of dino seagull. A new genus, Loris Morinosaurus. Lauren, Marion, what? We just call them gullosauruses. Close enough. They're headed right for Kittery Point. It's going to be a hard enough time capturing them and deusing them, much less having to do it in front of the entire town. We need a plan, and fast. Giant mutated seagulls. I have an idea, but I'll need to borrow Max's tricked out tyrannocycle. No, you don't. Sweet. Awesome. Beautiful. I tried to tell you earlier, I upgraded everyone's motorcycle. I was just using Max's Tyrannocycle to work out the details. And Buzz, I even upgraded the sound system in your helmet. Too wicked sweet. There they are! We need to intercept them! That's where all this bread comes in. I borrowed it from Ms. Moynihan. Good thing she takes bread so much. Those gold sources look pretty big and pretty hungry. Fun. When you go dino, just put your bike on autopilot. It'll follow you. If I know gold, and I think I do, they can't resist food. Come get it! That's strange. Something's wrong. They're changing direction. Hmm. Something's giving me interference on the satellite imaging. Oh, a little interference, Vic. You poor thing. <laughs> I need to investigate this person. Ready when you guys are. Then let it rip. We've got incoming. It's Velocity. Let's hit it, Dino Squad. Time to head for home.
tracks to the road, but after that, nothing. It was definitely more than one motorcycle, sir. But how many exactly? It's hard to say. Five. Five is my guess. The same number of perfect dinosaurs I saw back in Manchester, New Hampshire. Hmm. That was some serious mutant sore action. We came, we froze, we deused. And our upgraded bikes are totally styling, Fiona. Nice job. Everybody did a nice job. It's kind of ironic. We just saved the town of Kittery Point from giant mutant seagulls, and nobody's gonna know about it. Especially that bully McFinn. We know, and that's what's important. Guys, it, it really meant a lot to me that I could talk to you all about this whole McFinn thing. Maybe I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do about it yet, but I do know that no matter what, I'm gonna be myself. I'm not gonna let any thick-headed bully tell me who I am or who I should be. Especially if you're beautiful. You don't need anyone to tell you that. You can just look in the mirror. That's nice, Caruso. Nice. Whoa, watch the hair, will ya? I just fixed it for tomorrow's science class. So you see, this hair is a scientific marvel, an eighth wonder of the world, a glory for all to behold. It's so perfect, it's perfect perfect. Look on its beauty and despair. Um, Mr. Caruso, would you join me in the hall a moment? Perhaps I haven't properly explained to you what the term science actually means. Yo, Buzz, your hair is a scientific marvel in a study of ugly and stupid looking. I don't know what you mean, McFinn. I like my hair just the way it is. It's a study of perfection. Or as Caruso would say, it's so perfect that it's perfect perfect. And it is. Yeah, Buzz! You go, Buzz! It is we perfect! Go, huh? You're gonna take that from him? No way! He talked back to you, McFinn! Don't take that from him! Well, I... I... I say your haircut is stupid! Stupid! Ah! Ah! Get it off me! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! McFinn is a big chicken? A big coward? No way! Way! Relax, McFinn. She won't hurt you. Will you, Winifred? No. She's too sweet to hurt anybody. Well, unless it's something she wants to eat. But, 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 snakes are so slimy. They're not slimy. Not at all. They're smooth. Feel their skin. Go on. She's not going to hurt you. Hey, you're right! Look, everybody! I'm touching a snake! This is so cool! Yeah, I know. Isn't it? You should never judge anything by how it looks. Snakes, other animals, people. That's weak, McFinn. Yeah, I, uh, thanks for taking the snake off of me. You know, when I was freaking out about the snake and you were right there, it kind of made me think, well... How you must feel when I'm always giving you such a hard time. It, it's just that, well, you look so weird, you know? It's kind of scary. Well, McFinn, you look plenty weird to me, but it's no biggie. Yeah, I guess. Huh. Never thought of it quite like that. Want to hold her? Um, let's not get carried away. Thanks, Winifred. I owe you one. Buzz, I wanted you to know that I've talked with Aaron McFinn and his parents. They're all coming in for counseling. Some of the others told me about the bullying, and counseling is vital for kids and for their parents. I want your parents to come in too. I've already talked to them so that we can all get together, sit down, and discuss what's happened and how to deal with it. Thanks, Miss Moynihan. I'd like that. I'd like that very much. Experiment 647.23A, 
At 1100 hours, I'm administering primordial ooze, batch 017-23, into the storm drain system of Manchester, New Hampshire, in order to evaluate the rapidity of flow and dispersion. Tracking the ooze indicates it is moving faster than anticipated, and its viability seems to be diminishing at an alarming rate. Take the truck south, then east, following these coordinates. Hurry! Caruso, just what is your designer jeans wearing backside doing sitting in my chair? Whoa! Roger, don't sneak up on me like that. And what were you doing on the computer? You know the rules. No using my equipment without permission. I wasn't on the computer. Yeah, you were. Look, you've changed all the settings. Probably downloaded viruses that'll take forever to fix. Why were you looking at a satellite map of Manchester, New Hampshire? Oh, that. Uh, well, yeah, I was looking for uh, dino mutants, save the world, national security, all that stuff. I don't see any signs of... Whoa! Hold the miniature cell phone. I don't believe I'm going to say this, but you were right, Caruso. Trace elements of primordial ooze. And I'll bet you your last tube of fancy hair gel that where there's primordial ooze, there's going to be dino mutants. Let's go with this bad boy. It sweeps the ooze so you don't have to. It'll pick up any extra primordial ooze that happens to be lying around. That's a good boy. Coochie coochie. Ah! Gross! Get that little guy. It may have ooze on it. Whoa! Look out, gang! Run! Let's put these things on ice. Don't let them get away. My calculations indicate that they're growing at an exponential rate. Go Dino! Get him. Go Dino! Or do whatever it is you do. Yeah, go, go away, nasty things. We should sweep the area for any more primordial ooze or dino mutants. Report in if you find anything. Yo, Caruso, someplace else you need to be? Me? No, no place. 
I'm fine. Well then, get searching. Let's see. If I go this way and up, should be just around the corner. Just me, Caruso. Did you check everything down this way? Absolutely. Did you investigate that dark culvert back there? Well, of course I did. Do you think I'd say I checked if I hadn't checked? I checked! Don't blow a gasket, Caruso. I was just asking. Um, I gotta go check another drain up there. I'll... I'll be right back. Well, unless one of us missed something, I'd say it's all clear. Good work, guys. Wait, where's Caruso? I don't know, but he's acting strange today. It's Caruso. He's always strange. No, today he's being strange even for Caruso. I think we better find him, which will be no problem, thanks to yours truly putting location finders in each of our watches. Geek, and ye shall find. <laughs> Yo, Caruso, what are you doing? Nothing. Who, me? Nothing. Then why are you standing in this line? What line? There isn't any line. The line that stretches all the way around the block? Oh, that line. Yeah, sure. I'm in line. It's, uh, well, it's a blood donor line. I'm standing here to give blood. That's it. It's a blood donor line. I'm giving blood. Whoa. Bad idea, dude. You got dino DNA in your system, remember? You can't donate blood. Right, yeah, well, I wasn't actually planning on donating blood. I was just waiting to see if, if they had any extra cookies and juice for people that were standing in line and wanted some. Look, guys, you can go now and leave me alone because I can positively, absolutely assure you that there is nothing going on here at this theater that you need to worry about. Okay, Caruso, let me get this straight. You're at a theater, last in line of about a thousand people. My calculations indicate given spatial variance and a 5% error ratio that Caruso is last in line of 2,332 people. Just to let you all know, this is the end of the line. Nobody else will be able to audition. For? The you famous TV show. The reality television talent show where anybody can audition and become famous? That's the one. This is as far as the line goes. Caruso, you lied to us. You just looked us in the eyes and lied. Caruso, have you ever heard what Sir Walter Scott said? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. When first we practice to deceive. What does that mean? Tangled web? Like the internet, the web? Or... Is it about spiders or something? What it means, Caruso, is that if you lie, it creates the need for more lies and more lies to cover up your original lies until you're caught up in your own web of lies. And it always ends badly for the person doing the lying. Oh. But you don't need to worry. Everything's under control. OK. What are you going to do on stage? I'm, uh, I'm going to sing. <laughs> Experiment 647.23A, continuation. Primordial ooze batch 017-23 has completely dissipated in strength and faded to nothing. Most vexing. Hmm. Satellite sweeps are picking up a strange ooze signature at the initial location. I'm picking up a possible mutant signature. Turn around, now! I gotta say, I don't remember you ever singing. Not ever. Thank goodness, the end of the line. Wait! No pets allowed. It's okay. He's with us. And he's had all his shots and everything. <sighs> Sorry, I meant the dog. We don't do animal tricks. Look, if you're not auditioning for the You Famous show, you can't be here. Don't wait up, guys. The next time you see me, it's gonna be on TV in front of a crowd of adoring fans.
Whoa, we've got two alerts. One, seems like we missed a dino mutant. It's on the move. And two, is coming right at us. Victor Velocity! Fiona, get us out of here. Hurry, Fiona, we can't let him see us. Not good, not good. Keep your seatbelt on, Buzz. I'm already on it. We've got to get Caruso out of there. Um, guys, Velocity's parked right in front. Where there's a wheel and overhead satellite photos plus downloaded theater schematics, there's a way. The quickest way in, if you're a dino morphing dino squad, is straight up. Buzz, if you will do the honors. Go dino! an act? I have seen that act a thousand times. Today. Boring! Get off the stage! Get off! I'll definitely be something she's never seen before. A perfectly handsome young man becomes dinosaur? Dinosaur man? Handsome dinosaur man? It's going to be all over the place. Everybody will know me. Fame time. Dino man. Dino. Next! Look, Bobola, in the past few hours, I've been through 2,331 other potential contestants, each more untalented than the last. So you had better knock my proverbial socks off. Huh? Oh, no, not another one. <sighs> oh, right, your socks. Well, you'd better hang on to them because this is going to be something you've never seen before. Here goes. Fame, 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 fame! Caruso, have you ever heard what Sir Walter Scott said? Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Look at that. A spider web. A web. Is that it? You done? Yes. I mean, no. Look, I'm sorry, Ms. Simone. I, I just can't. Obviously, because you... Oh. Yes, you are losing me from your show. That has gotta hurt. Um, I know it's heartbreaking, but aren't you overreacting just a little? Sucker's getting big. This should help. Cockroaches can't see in red light. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Time to go dino! Over here, there's a big spider web. We can trap him in it. Mm. 
that's holding him. Not surprising. Spider Silk has a tensile strength comparable to that of high grade steel. Sweet. An arachnid saurus. Can I keep him? No, Buzz. You cannot keep the mutated spider. It's those perfect dinosaurs. They're. they're here. <laughs> I gotta set you guys free. I'd like to keep you as pets, but I don't think that would make my mom too happy. Tell me you got that on videotape. I did! The video camera was running the whole time! It's been erased! But how? <laughs> I left them a little gift on the side of the video camera. An electromagnet. Because as brainiacs like me know, videotape is a magnetic recording. And my magnet just rearranged all the low magnetic sequencing that creates image, or static. Well, I don't understand anything about what just happened. Perhaps I can help. I am a doctor, and I'm afraid I must tell you that all I saw was this fire curtain fall. Must have been loose. There are no such things as monsters or giant cockroaches. I suspect that with the lights and the dark and the long day, you didn't quite see what you thought you saw. It could have been a rare type of fatigue-induced group hypnosis. I'm sorry. Well, I am supposed to be cutting back on coffee. Yes. It's probably something to do with that. Why is it I cannot track those dinosaurs? They don't show up on any of my scans, but they're so perfect. I must find them. I must, wherever they are. I wanted to tell you, I didn't get a chance to sing. Oh, sorry, Caruso, but, you know, that's kind of good because, well, I know it's silly. We thought maybe you were just going to go on that program and go dino so you could be famous. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. See, football? I told you. Now pay up. We bet dessert that you were gonna go dino on TV to be famous. Maxie here thought you weren't. Sucker. I didn't, though. I changed my mind at the last minute. I couldn't go through with it. I... I... saw a web. A tangled web. And it made me think about what I was doing. So I didn't. I'm... I'm sorry I lied to you guys. But I've been thinking, maybe I could still be famous. I could learn to sing and be famous. Funny how that's just what Professor Moynihan said when we called and told her all about it. I've been singing for hours. Isn't there an easier way to be famous? If you want to sing, you have to sing. It's just that simple. Me me mamo mu. Me me mamo mu. Me me mamo mu. Me me mamo mu. Maybe I'd better call Caruso's parents and tell them he's going to be late for dinner. Dog, the way he sings, he's going to be late for a lot of dinners. Look at that! We could be out in the sunshine, sailing, instead of cooped up inside on a Saturday, studying a bunch of useless subjects like Greek mythology. I mean, who cares what stories the Greeks told each other thousands of years ago? 
What's it got to do with playing better football or saving the world? I understand your frustration. It can seem like some subjects aren't relevant, but a well-rounded education is the best way to succeed in life. That's what I've been trying to tell them. Without having studied math and science, I never would have been able to design all our cool dino gizmos. You know, your frustration might not just be from all the studying, but it may be a result of being under so much stress from all the things you have to do. Midterms, after-school sports, family obligations, not to mention saving the world from Victor Velocity. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Come again, sir? A Latin phrase meaning I came, I saw, I conquered. And with what I've observed over the past several months, perhaps today I will finally conquer those perfect dinosaurs. A careful study of video images of past encounters indicates there are five of them. A Tyrannodon. Styracosaurus. Stegosaurus. Spinosaurus. And Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've concluded that the reason we failed to capture one is because we haven't had sufficient manpower combined with the right type of mutants. But this time, I'm creating mutants from an animal species known for its wildly uncontrollable behavior. Book reports are like so not worth the paper they're printed on. I mean, who really cares that the Sheriff of Nottingham put a reward on Robin Hood's head. Yeah, or that William Tell shot an apple off his son's head. Or that Sir Isaac Newton got hit by an apple on his own head. The apple didn't really hit Sir Isaac on the head, Caruso. He just saw it fall. But it's a good thing he discovered the laws of gravity, or we might never have gone to the moon. So you see, it's not that what you're learning is unimportant. It's just that you haven't found a use for it. Yet. <laughs> There's a mutant outbreak in Manchester, New Hampshire. Not mutant. Mutants! Six of them! The signals are weak, which means they've been contaminated, but haven't fully mutated. Looking on the bright side, at least we get to take a study break. This could be a difficult mission. I'm coming along. <laughs> Good to see you again, Ms. Moynihan. You too, Arnold. Thanks for loaning us your SUV on such short notice. You're sure I can't pay you? Well, I wouldn't refuse a batch of your famous crab cakes. You got it. A dog show. Awesome. I love dogs. Not when they're two-ton scaly mutants, you don't. Yeah, that could be a little too big to sleep on my bed. I'll stay here with Caruso and keep an eye out for Velocity. The readings are coming from over that way. Whatever's been contaminated, they're inside that box. Open it up. Oh, aren't they adorable? Yeah, and any second, they're gonna be adorable Labradorosauruses. <laughs> Dino One to Mother Saurus. We've got six wild puppies about to go mutant. Incoming! Bad dog! <gasps> Dino puppy slobber! Stay! Something tells me now would be a good time to go Dino! Whoa! 
confirmed. There's four of them. Move in! It's an ambush! Tell me about it! No, I mean Velocity's men! They're everywhere! I got your back, Fiona. These guys have been doing their homework. They've never been this well organized. Oh, dear. help them. And as much as I hate to do it, there's only one way. Um, Dr. Velocity? Don't worry, I'm not Velocity. Ms. Moynihan? Move back. You? I'd recognize that coloring anywhere. And I was hoping to never see your scaly face again. I might have known you'd be behind these perfect dinosaurs, getting in the way of my plans. Someone's got to protect the human race from a reptile like you. Someone, perhaps, but not you. Bring in the other trucks. The dudes got us this time. Not if my telepathic communication is still as strong as it used to be. Stop! Look at those men. Time to play! They might get away this time, but you won't. He's got her! Ms. Moynihan! <gasps> it's chilling and spilling time! time. indicates that Velocity has her at Raptordyne. So, we go to Raptordyne and get her out. Easier said than done, dude. If I know Velocity, and I wish I didn't, his lair is probably hidden deeper and got more booby traps than the wickedest video game I ever played, and lost. How am I supposed to figure out a plan? Kittery High doesn't exactly offer dino commando classes. All I know is a bunch of useless history, algebra, and literature. Everything we learn is useless until we put it to use. The Brainosaurus is right. We gotta use our heads, like Newton did when he saw the apple fall. Not Newton, Robin Hood. You mean Robin Hood discovered the laws of gravity? No, I'm talking about the reward the Sheriff of Nottingham put on Robin Hood's head. So? So, Velocity put out a reward too, remember? Yeah, for anyone with information leading to the capture of a dinosaur. But what's that got to do with anything? Maybe we should tell him we have a dinosaur? Wait. That's it! We'll do what the Greeks did in Troy! Yeah! We'll invade Raptordyne with a thousand ships! But where are we gonna get 50,000 guys to row them? I'm talking about the Trojan horse. Only we won't use a horse. Of course not! We'll trick Velocity with the Trojan dinosaur! Why don't you just revert to human so I can see what you look like now? Of course not. Then I trace your identity and find out where you're hiding those five perfect dinosaurs. Give up your futile human pursuits. Join with me again. Together, we could succeed with my plan for global dinosaur domination!
all set. Great. So here's the plan. We hook the cage to the SUV and Caruso drives it to Raptor Dine. Just before we arrive, Fiona gets in the cage and goes dino, while Roger, Buzz, and I get in the secret compartment. When Velocity brings the cage into his lair, we sneak out and rescue Miss Moynihan. Where's Caruso? Do I look cool or what? What's with the lip rug? In case Velocity's ever seen me, with this disguise, he'll never recognize me. He may not recognize your face, but no one could miss that hair. Huh? Oh. Deal or no deal? Awesome. Fiona, go for it. Go Dino! If this doesn't get him to bite the hook, nothing will. Sir, he says he just came out of his underground garage towing his dinosaur. If you don't want it, he'll take it to the local zoo. Oh, yes. It is one of the perfect ones. Tell him he'll get his reward if he brings it here immediately. Looks like I'll get one with or without your help. Judging by the signature, it's the Spinosaurus. That's it. Keep on struggling. By the time my dinosaur gets here, you'll be so exhausted that you'll have to revert to human form, and I'll be that much closer to capturing the rest of those perfect dinosaurs. He's here, sir. Let him in. Good afternoon, Dr. Velocity. This is your lucky day. Just look at that beauty. Pay him. He's taking the bait. But, uh, I haven't finished my lines. I mean, my negotiation. What is he doing? Something tells me we should have put Caruso in the cage. Negotiation? What are you talking about? I'm talking about two tons of prime Spinosaurus. Heck, Porterhouse is going for 25 bucks a pound, and this baby's worth twice that, which comes to... $200,000! Deal or no deal? No deal. Excellent! What? But, uh... Have you any idea how hard it is to capture and cage a dinosaur? As a matter of fact, I do. Which makes me wonder how an obviously not that bright young man such as yourself was able to capture a ferocious Spinosaurus and get it into that cage. So tell me, how did you manage it? Well, I... er... uh... uh... Androcles and the Lion? Now that would be a good story! As a matter of fact, Dr. Velocity, when I found this dinosaur, it was in great pain with a big thorn in its paw. At extreme risk to my own personal safety, I bravely took out the thorn. Then the lion, er, dinosaur, was so thankful it befriended me. So, uh, after school and metal shop, I built this cage for it. Sounds like a fable to me. Look, sir, it's true. And, uh, seeing as how her paw is still sore, I'll accept your generous offer. Deal? Deal. Take it down to the lab. Yes! Don't worry, Miss Moynihan. We're going to get you out. Whatever you're planning, do it quickly. I can't remain in Raptor for much longer. Take some DNA samples and get a full body scan. I want to know the secret to these perfect dinosaurs. He's going to find out we're a bunch of high school dinosaurs. We got to stop him. Hold your horsesauruses. We've got to wait for Fiona's signal. <sighs> Sir, the raptor! 
Find her! Today's my lucky day. Buy one, get three free. Get the DNA sample. Now I know what it feels like to be a lab rat. There's gotta be some way out of this. What are those buttons? I can't read them. I think they're written in Raptorese. No, that's Latin. Why would Velasa use Latin? Because he's been around for ages and probably spoke Latin long before he spoke English. I know these words. The first means warning. The next is cage. Then cold... Salvo? I don't know that one. I told you Latin was useless. No. We can figure it out by finding English words with the same root. Like sol. Dissolve? Solve it. What do they all have in common? You solve a problem, dissolve something into water, get paint off with a solvent. They're all about breaking things up. Or getting rid of something. Or getting free from it. Free from a problem. Free up the solid paint. Or free us from this cage. It must be the release button. What if it's the dinosaur dissolving solvent release button? We'll have to take that chance. Get them! Best chance to grab Velocity and destroy his lab. That cage won't hold Velocity for very long. He's too strong and too clever. Gotta get Ms. M and get out of here now. I'm so glad you're okay. I'm proud of all of you. Not just for rescuing me, but for doing it by so brilliantly using what you've learned. Who'd have thought Greek mythology could be so useful? Or Latin. Scientia est potentia. Knowledge is power, dude. Indeed it is. That's why I love teaching, and why you all need to study hard and complete your education. Yep, everything we learn has value. Take American history. Why, even though it was over 200 years ago, the Boston Tea Party is still significant. How right you are, Caruso. Understanding why we fought for our freedom is as important today as it ever was. I was talking about the tea. Oolong is my favorite. Just a touch of honey and lemon. Mmm, goes great with a cranberry scone. Can I throw him into the harbor, Ms. Moynihan? Please? As promised, Aunt Louise's totally original award-winning chicken sausage and mushroom paella. You would not believe the day we had. I'm talking about one major freakazoid mutation. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. Paella? Thanks. They were mutant hedgehogs. I mean, they can be only so menacing. At one point, Buzz and Caruso tried to lasso one like it was the hedgehog rodeo, and Caruso wound up face down in the mud. He was so annoyed, his hair was caked with mud. And Buzz was like, What are you complaining about? You see what it did to my mohawk? So what's new with you, sugar? Nothing much. 
And then you drop this program from your executables, and voila, your computer's twice as fast. I never thought of that. Comes from years and years of crashing my computer. Oh, like you've never crashed a server? I'm a football player. When am I going to use algebra in the real world? Your team is down by 12. What's the least you have to do to win? That's easy. Get two touchdowns and convert the point after. Really? Each touchdown is worth six points, so you need two of them to make 12 for the tie. And each point after is worth one, so you get two touchdowns and one PAT, and boom, you're ahead. Congratulations! You just use algebra in the real world. Whoa! These are Mondo readings! Lake Micmac? More hedgehogs? I could have sworn we got them all. Maybe you missed some of the ooze in the area? We'd better go double check. Suit up, guys. My very first mission! Wrong. Absolutely not. And in case you missed it, no. You're not the boss of me. I agree. See? I'm agreeing with Fiona. It's too dangerous to be out there when you can't morph. But I can do other things. Yeah, like manning the computers here. That's your expertise. Stuck on satellite duty? What's that about? <sighs> you get to go on missions all the time. And you're a dog. <laughs> Chillin' and spillin'. Let's hope we've seen the last Hedgehogosaurus. More hedgehogs? That was the big threat? Well, thanks for keeping me here so far from all of the danger. For all we know, it could have been prehistoric land-roving sharks. This is so not right. You guys get to morph and everything. Why don't you focus on what you can do? Because anybody can do what I do. Who can't sit in front of a computer pushing a mouse? Prehistoric Van Roving Shark? Would it have gills or lungs? I was just wondering the same thing. Don't devalue your gifts that way. What you do really is important. And although sometimes it means doing things that are less exciting, using your skills in a way that best serves the team is just a matter of good judgment. You want excitement? I'm working on something really amazing. Let me guess. Combination gyroscope and mocha latte chino maker? <laughs> Presenting the Dino Personnel Carrier. 600 horsepower, zero emission, three motor design, titanium alloy axles, a windshield that can withstand a T-Rex, and at Roger's insistence, a chai tea dispenser. Fiona's tricked out the mechanicals, but I need help debugging the Navi computer. Trey, cool. Count me in. some pretty solid readings here. It's in the same area as the hedgehogs. You said you were certain you found all of the ooze. We did. I'm sure we got it all. You have to do a thorough search of the area. There must be a reason we're seeing these recurrences. Can I please go along this time? It's just more hedgehogs. What if it turns out to be something more dangerous? Like what? Adolescent mutant samurai aardvarks? Sorry, kiddo. But good judgment means that this is the best place for you to use your unique skills. Sir, I'm picking up a new signature. Aside from the animals we mutated? Affirmative. Could it possibly be those elusive, perfect dinosaurs? At last! The new tracking system works perfectly. I wonder what happens when I plug into the navigation computer on this. Ah, oh, 
awesome interface. Roger's gonna be totally psyched. I can't wait to show him. Hey, maybe I won't wait. <laughs> What's she doing here? Making a mess? We better do something before anything bad happens. Go, Dino! Flash, T-Max, something bad just happened. We can't help her without exposing our human identities to Velocity's forces. I'm starting to see the upside of Sting in the lighthouse. I'll lead them away. You take care of Terry. The T-Rex takes first priority. After it! I'm okay. You won't be when I get through with you. Guys, I think I found their hide. Maybe that'll be a lesson to you. What were you thinking? Latte should have only a whisper of cinnamon. This is a full-blown shout. Lost them. We should get going while the going is good. Hedgehogs? Beavers? Since there's more than one kind of mutant in the area, I'm thinking we're looking for a major spill. We've got to locate and eliminate it now. We can't keep coming back here. That's going to be some trick with the area crawling with Velocity's oozer losers. Which is why I brought this handy dandy little gadget. A combination ooze tracker and motion detector for spotting spills and avoiding Velocity's henchmen. It's also good for getting out stubborn stains. Although I like to take full credit, the motion tracker itself wasn't working reliably until Terry worked out the kinks. See? My mad skills on the tech more than make up for my lack of field experience. Sorry, Terry. It doesn't make up for your lack of judgment. After all, you did almost get us captured by Velocity's goons. Speaking of which, we're about to have company. We lost them, sir. No matter. Now that I have proof those perfect dinosaurs could be lured back to this area, I can deploy my master project. You're banishing me? I'm sorry, but you've left me no choice. At least until you prove that you've learned to exercise better judgment. These readings are off the scale. Lake Micmac again? This has to be about more than testing mutations. I'm concerned it's related to your encounter there with Velocity's henchmen. Are you suggesting we just ignore it? I'm suggesting you employ every caution. The reading seems to be coming from there. Only it can't be a spill because it it's definitely moving. Yeah, 
moving right toward us, which means we need to go, go Dino! My masterpiece, the mecha mutation, a blending of ooze and machine, the perfect device to hunt down and capture those elusive dinosaurs. Success! This isn't a randomly mutated animal, which means it had to be created by Victor Velocity. Guys, little help? Buzz, keep it busy. On it, T-Max. When we're done here, can I take a nap? Back off! Keep your distance from that thing. <laughs> There's no telling what else it can do. By the looks of them, they contain tritanium alloy, anti-gravity, not you never mind the science, run! At last, I found them. An authentic T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Pteranodon, Spinosaurus, and even a Styracosaurus. How can we change back with these things following us? Soon. So soon. Genetically perfect dinosaurs will be under my control. And I alone will hold the key to recreating true dinosaurs. <laughs> when will Fiona be home? I have no idea. She's probably out with the guys having the time of her life. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to make it home in time for dinner? Anybody else starting to miss giant hedgehogs and beavers? I, for one, am tired of letting these things get the better of us. Time for us to start scoring points on them! Remind me not to play billiards with the T-Rex. Nice going, Max. You got them all. Great. Let's change back before... No! We have to track down that mechanical monster while we can. For all we know, it's programmed to follow us home. Get real. How would that thing possibly follow us? In theory, it could hone in on our genetic signatures or the specific pheromones given off by the ooze whenever we change into dino. You just had to ask, didn't you? It's no use. I can't get into Velocity's system to find out how to defeat that thing. But I know just who might. Wait, you want me back? After the way I put everyone in danger? You did show bad judgment, but you also have a lot of unique skills, and the team and I need you now. This mechanical ooze automaton appears to run from a centralized computer core, which is streaming information to Velocity through his satellite link. And you want to sever the connection? Absolutely not. Tapping into Velocity's system is the only way into that monster. I slip in through the back door, shut down its operating system. No more monster! I like the sound of that. Oops! We got spotted by the firewall. Maybe if I... He's got some firewall. Our buddies are back. They're way too fast. And there are way too many. The DPC's computer runs independently from the lighthouse's system. It should still be fully operational. Barrier? 
not fair. I know. I totally had that idea first. We aren't going anywhere. And if we change back, Velocity will know we're human. So what now? Yep, still online. I'm in. And if I can adjust my firewall in time, I can stop his system from invading this computer. This cannot be good. Oh, great. Now I'm riding the bumper cars. Any luck, Terry? Big time. I'm already inside Velocity's system. If I can just make my way to the root directory. Oh, man. This cannot get any worse. Newsflash, it just did! It's okay! Just a little pushback from Flossy Firewall! Whee! This is kind of fun! Carrie, it's too dangerous. Abandon the mission. I just need a few more seconds and... Ha! There you are, my critical little operating files. Velocity sure did a great job hiding you, but not good enough to stop me from doing this. This little piggy got deleted. And this little piggy got deleted too. And this little piggy got lost on the way to market. And this little piggy went goodbye. Terry, get out now. I'm glad I learned not to argue with you, Ms. Moynihan. That was close. Were you able to get into that monster's operating system? You betcha. Things are looking bad for our team. But even worse for theirs. What's going on? Our Navi computer's offline. We're flying blind, sir. Who's in control? Right now? Nobody, sir! Schmoes. At least we're free. What about Velocity? I was so close. So close. I can't get out of this pitiful human form. Just going to stand there? Get me out of here! And how did I know my little sister was behind that monster falling apart? Only trying to make up for putting everybody in danger before. Pretty bad judgment on my part. Maybe so, but you've shown good judgment too, along with some truly unique strengths. You're going to make a great member of the Dino Squad, even if you aren't a dinosaur. You really think so? You kidding? The way you stayed inside that dino DPC when it was going crazy? I wish I had your fearlessness, not to mention your computer savvy. We all have our own mad skills. The way you were swatting those drones with your tail. If you were batting for Boston, you'd have been hitting them right out of the park. That's true. Not to mention the fact that nobody is better at perfecting a hairstyle than I am. Wait a minute. What happened to the DPC? Good question. Terry, where's our car? Remember, when you're trying to constrain one of Velocity's mutant sores, no need to use your force. You missed a super training session, Fiona. But it was worth it because I got these. My dry cleaning tickets! Awesome! Can't wait to get my silk PJs back. As if. These are the last remaining tickets for Friday night's Christy Crash concert in Boston! What? Gee, uh, that's really thoughtful of you, Fiona, but I was planning on going to a baseball game. Not me. I'm going to the Kittery Karaoke Club and listen to my favorite singer, moi. Guess you and I will be going alone, Raj. Guess again. 
I used to like Christy Crash, till I found out she's a total airhead. What are you talking about? This. Your sweet Christy Crash, dumping on her fans, attacking a poor paparazzo, destroying public property. Oh, well that explains it. These shots were all taken by Zoom O'Donnell, the sleaziest paparazzo of them all. He digitally alters all his pics, then makes up lies about them. Like this obvious fake. Fake? You mean we're not being invaded by mutant mind-reading monkeys? Ugh. Wicked. No way. Oh, that must hurt. What's this? We'll pay big bucks for celebrity photos. are worth ten times that. They look like they've been digitally altered. Duh. Well, that's because they have been. Just like all my shots. But we both know your pinhead readers can't tell the difference. Look, Zoom, all I care about is selling papers. Because more papers means more ads, and more ads means more money. So it's fine with me if your photos distort the truth or even make it up. But they gotta be... be good. But 500 won't even pay for my gasoline. Ride a bike? When I get the perfect shot, you're gonna pay big time. Thanks for changing your plans, guys. This is going to be an awesome concert. What a bunch of lies. I didn't attack the paparazzi. They attacked me with their cameras and their made up stories. Look at this. The blogs are even worse. They're saying I'm spending my concert money on expensive clothing and wild parties instead of charity. Why won't they leave me alone? Stop. Hmm. Look, there might be some trouble over there. Something like make sure my battery's charged so I don't miss this shot. It's not my fault if she's lame enough to stand under a giant paper mache dolphin. Besides, it'll only give her a nasty headache. It'll give me the perfect shot. Look at those special Save effects! Save the sea creatures! What, 
What are you? Just your average teenage Christy Crash fan. I suppose this isn't the best time to get your autograph, is it? Oh, yeah. You don't speak dino, do you? What a shot. Whoa. Huh? <laughs> Zoom, old <Huh>? Donald? <laughs> Saving Christy was the easy part. How's Fiona going to change back without being seen? Got it covered. What? I'll get the shot this time. Just as soon as the smoke clears. Huh? Awesome shots. Now, Winifred, watch this prodigious feat of digital dexterity. There's gonna be a perfect shot in here. I can feel it. What? <laughs> junk! All junk! Yo, Zoom. I'm a big admirer of your twisted pictures. Saw your ad in Slam. Got a wicked pick of my own for sale. Check it out. Just what I need. More junk pictures. That's it! That's the one I've been looking for! The perfect shot! I know it was risky, but I felt I had to. Going dino before a thousand people was risky, Fiona, but saving Christian Zoom was the right thing to do, even though I'm not a fan of her music or his fake photos. You'll never guess what. Not in a million years. Not in a zillion years. Not in a Googleplex years. Not even in... If you don't stop telling us how long we'll be guessing, we'll never get a chance to guess what you're so certain we'll never guess. Yours truly just sold a picture to Zoom O'Donnell. Got 50 bucks for it. You should be ashamed of yourself for contributing to Zoom's phony pictures and lies. But I... When people see that picture in the tabloids, or on TV, or in the blogs, it not only hurts Christy, it hurts everyone. But I... I... I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't thinking. Fiona is right, Puzz. Those fake stories and photos can be very hurtful. Though I suppose the silver lining is that your outrageous photo will help cover up Fiona's going dino at the concert. Yeah, well, this one's pretty outrageous. Oh, dear. Christy Crash may not be the only one you've hurt with this photograph. If Alossi sees it, we could all be in danger. But won't he know it's just a fake? The photo may be a fake, dear boy, but our lighthouse is very, very real. Guess I didn't think of that either. Hey, I know. Maybe I can buy it back from Zoom for 50 bucks. Beastly. What now? Zoom's put the picture up for auction! Place your bids on a unique photo that proves Christy Crash is really the infamous dinosaur girl behind the rash of recent sightings? No way! If any dinosaur is gonna be infamous, it's me! Oh man, what have I done? You've made Christy Crash's life a little more miserable than it already was. The bidding is already up to $40,000. Come on, Zoom. It's me, your favorite editor. I'll give you 50000 for it if you'll call off the auction. If this picture gets onto the tabs, everyone will think my charity concert was just a big joke. I'll pay anything for it. Anything! Oh. Yes! 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 250000 So. Hello? This is Zoom O'Donnell. Congratulations, baby. You're the winning bidder. We'll be paying with check or credit card. Cash? Perfect. 
Yeah, I can meet your limo tonight. Excellent. I'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> believe I was outbid. These malicious tabloids and blogs are ruining my life. They don't care how many people they hurt or deceive with their lies, and it's just not fair. <laughs> Maybe if I sue them... No, that'll be too late. There's only one way to stop him from releasing that photo. I need to meet with this jerk. Get me Zoom O'Donnell's address. Got it. Just as I feared, it was Velossi who purchased the photo. We've got to stop him. That's a plan. But an easier plan would be to stop Zoom. Just have to plug his address into my global mapping software and... There he is! I'll track him for you. Get going. He's pulled into a turnout just north of you. Be careful. Velocity's there. Copy that, Mother Source. ETA, two minutes. Where's my money? First, let's see the picture. Sure, yeah, I got it. Right here on CD. Zoom? Wait! Christy? Well, look at that. The celebrity chasing the paparazzi for a change. Only this time, I've got the bodyguard. Think about what you're doing. I don't have to think about it. I know what I'm doing. Zoom's at the limo. And so is Christy. Let's have that CD. Sure. <gasps> I gotta get a shot of this. Hey, what about that image? What's taking them so long? <laughs> what? Oh. Did you see which way it went? No. And if I don't see that CD, you're not gonna see your money. Okay, okay. Got it right here. Ah! <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Who are you? Don't tell anyone, but... I'm your biggest fan. I've got all your CDs, your posters, your hair care products. I was hoping you could do me a big favor. Gee, uh, I'd love to, but I'm a little busy right now to sign autographs. Oh, I don't want your autograph. I mean, I do, but not now. I just want you to listen to this song I wrote. It's perfect for you. I'm one finer dinosaur, and I love to rock and roar, or... Here comes Zoom! Don't duck so fast this time. We've got to give Buzz enough time to get that CD. I know, I know. I'm just worried about that tar launcher. <laughs> what? So, if you sing with me, they'll adore us, cause I'm gonna be a rock star Yeah! Ew, this is never gonna come out in the wash. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got something really important to take care of. Wait, I've got others! <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> Uh-oh, Velocity's gone raptor. Christy and the guys are in danger. And so are my new shoes. This stuff's stickier than my hair gel. I can't let you do it. Hey! Uh. You 
you better get out of here. Oh, and, uh, I thought you should know. It's not just Zoom's fault. I sold him the picture. I didn't realize how hurtful it could be. I'm really sorry. Gotta go. This is getting too weird. I'm out of here. going to sell it. I'm going to sell the ones I get of those real dinosaurs, too! Huh? Huh? Hello? Where'd they go? Oh, I thought you were. The picture. Let me see the money first. Wow, I'm rich! This is too perfect! What is this? Some kind of joke? What are you talking about? is in my shot. Uh, I must have given you the wrong CD. Fifty bucks? Wait! I've got more picks! I'll discount them! Did I tell you I shoot dog portraits? Hi, it's me, Zoom. Uh, you know those digitally altered faux dino shots you wanted to buy? I'll sell them to you for the 500. Yeah, same to you! Dude, you should have seen it. It was magical. I dropped the 50 in his pocket, then swapped the CDs while he was ranting, and presto, he never saw a thing. I didn't know you were in a magic buzz. Yeah, well, I don't do card tricks. But if you ever want to be sawed in half, just let me know. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Hey guys, did you know that there was a kid born with 88 piano keys instead of teeth? It's true! There's a picture right here! That's totally bogus. You can see where they touched it up. Okay, so maybe they exaggerated a little. Maybe the kid wasn't born with 88 keys in his mouth. He probably only had 52 baby keys before his sharps and flats came in. Let's get out of here. Week three in the Get a Life competition and it appears that neither of our contestants has gotten a life. Let's move in closer to see how they've been wasting their lives. Looks like by creating some kind of strange electronic tray. It's not a tray, Caruso. I'm making a photovoltaic solar cell for power. Speaking of power, my solar cell's shaping up to produce about 15 times the average output. You might as well pack it in right now. I beg to differ, Fee. It's going to be me representing the school in the Earth Day Challenge, and not you. Sorry, Raj, but my vehicle design is going to take it. I hope you didn't spend too much time on that, because I'm afraid it's going to be this bad boy here that'll represent and bring home the trophy and the cash prize. We'll just see about that. Oh yes, we will. And so, competitive spirit aside, it looks like yet another installment of Get a Life ends with moi being the only one with a life around here. Come on, get out of here. Stop. Leave me 
As you all know, one of you will be chosen to compete in a multi-state Earth Day celebratory race. From Boston, Massachusetts to Akron, Ohio, using only an ecologically friendly vehicle of your own making, the faculty has completed their judging and picked a winner. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be me! me! However, Due to a rule change by the eco-race organizers, it is now a team competition. I am happy to announce Fiona Flagstaff and Roger Blair have won in a dead heat, each scoring 93.7 out of a possible 100 points. Roger and Fiona will be the team that represents Kittery Point High School in the Earth Day eco-race. A, a team? team? I'm not sure I understand what the problem is here, you two. Don't get me wrong, Ms. M. I'm not upset that the faculty recognize my genius. My score was the same as yours, Roger. I worked really hard on my designs. I did too. The problem is, Ms. M, I had my heart set on making my dreams, my visions, into reality. Into the eco car that would win the race. I had some great ideas. I really wanted to see how they would come out. Well, just make it together. But then it wouldn't be mine. Or mine. Look, there's no changing it now. You're entering the race as a team. The school needs you to work as a team. You can do this. It's going to be great. Hey, guys, congrats. How's the eco vehicle coming? It's not. That's because you won't listen. I would listen if your ideas made sense. Well, they're better than your stupid ideas. Yeah, well, your ideas are worthless as well as stupid. How's that? Stupidly worthless ideas. Um, okay, sorry I asked. If you would just look at the way my design uses a carbon beam chassis of composite materials and bulkheads to support the loads integrated into a non-load bearing composite belly pan, you'd see it's better. Child's play. You have to admit the genius of mine proved power to weight ratio with my lithium ion battery packs, augmented, I might add, by my sophisticated peak power trackers. I worked really hard on a redesigned trailing arm suspension. That's nothing compared to a new version of a single reduction direct drive I came up with. Guys, guys, chill for a second. You guys are a team. At least you're supposed to be. They're right. We have to get to work. And you have some talent. How about this? You handle the vehicle part, and you handle the high-tech stuff. See, it's all going to work out. Now who's living in a dream world? Experiment E3493C. Inspired by how locust swarms have devastated human civilizations in the past, I am developing a new breed of primordial ooze-enhanced locusts. Ironic how these mutated locusts have so much in common with the pathetic monkeys that swarm all over this planet, destroying everything they set upon, devouring it, laying waste to it, and then moving on until nothing is left. These mutated locusts may be a good first step in reshaping the planet and ridding it of the unwanted human occupants. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the third annual Eco Race Challenge! It promises to be quite an exciting race from here in Boston to the finish line in Akron, Ohio! The environmentally friendly vehicles are at the line. Contestants, start your environmentally friendly engines! Get ready and... I can't even see the other contestants. We are in last place by a mile. I'll give you a little hint whose fault this is. And it's not me, Fiona. No way, Raj. Don't be blaming me for something that's clearly your fault. Here they come, and there they go. Past the first checkpoint. The Kittery Point team should be through here any second. Or not. Hmm, where are they? Where are we? I thought the navigator was supposed to be in charge of 
Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Navigation? I'm working on it. And you mean by that you're working on my very last nerve? I'm stopping to ask for directions. You see me? I'm a guy. Guys do not stop for directions. Then where are we, mister? I'm not stopping for directions, guy. I'm on it, but my GPS isn't quite working right. In fact, nothing is working on this thing. Great, you see that? Now we're gonna have to deal with a thunderstorm, too. Yeah, well, you wanna head west on Route 92, but you gotta head north first after heading east a little bit. You're gonna wanna turn at where the old Jenkins farmhouse used to be before it burned down and head on for about all three miles to where the giant oak was, uh, the one that got struck by lightning. Huh? Of course, they cut the tree down with some good kindling. Uh, then after that turn, you need to... Roger, you know those dark clouds to the east? Don't tell me. It's not a thunderstorm? Locust! I ain't never seen locust that big! Sir, you need to get out of here and fast. But my truck won't start. Is it a stick? Yep. Pop the clutch. We'll give you a push. Just don't look back, okay? What about you two? We'll be fine. Don't worry. Trust us. Go Dino! Dino! <laughs> What is it, Caruso? Are Roger and Fiona in trouble? Huh? Who? Oh, no, I'm looking at my favorite fashion website, and I just found out that a certain designer is discontinuing an entire line of pants. It's a crime! Those pants make me look so good. Caruso, we left you in here to track the race, not the latest fashion trends. I'm sure Fiona and Roger are fine. Here. See? They're in Pennsylvania, right in the middle of a huge mutant sore outbreak. What? Fiona! Roger! Come in! Are you guys okay? You're surrounded by mutant sores! I think we noticed! It's kind of hard to miss a plague of huge locust sores eating everything, and I mean everything, in their path. It's not pretty. We're safe for the moment, but we kind of forgot to pack our chillers and spillers. Stay put. We're on our way. It seems that my mutated locusts have settled down to eat. You two keep tracking them and compile the data in the experiment file. I'm late for a meeting. Oh, they're like eating machines. I can't think of anything I'd rather not be than dessert for those horrible, ugly, disgusting bugosauruses. There's got to be a way to control them. Keep them away. True. True, good idea. Locusts and grasshoppers and cicadas all respond to sound. What about something that could move? Automated. Excellent idea. And it would also create the rhythmic sound we need. Perfect. And it would help if it looked like one of them. At least a little. Right, exactly. Just make sure we keep a running list of the parts and machinery we use so we can pay the farmer back. Hey, check it out. We made a tractor bug. I don't think I like our eco-vehicle much at all. Me neither. It's absolutely lame-tastic. 
I wish I had done better on the wiring for the motor controller. No, it's a great setup, but if you rewire it like this... Dog! I wish I'd thought of that. I wish I'd worked out better hydraulics to reduce brake drag. No, it was a good design, but if you had recalibrated the pressure like this, it would be better. I didn't think of that. Brilliant! You'll increase power by 180% if you rewire the panels in this sequence. Perfect! And these bypass diodes could be moved here for better efficiency. Absolutely! That will double the power return. I wish we had thought of all this earlier. We would have, if we had listened to each other a little more. Just needs a few more spare parts to tie it up. I saw some machinery outside that should do the trick. Except it's outside. I saw it too. Let's get it! Bugasauruses? Hurry, Roger! You've got a ton of them on your tail! Friends managed to get inside. Finished. Just in time. Now, let's see if our tractor bug here will work. Let's crank it up and clear a path. Is a lot of locosaurs. They don't call it a swarm or a plague for nothing. Look, Fiona and Roger. Whoa, they're gathering all the locosaurs together. Looks like it's chilling and spilling time. Don't let the tractor bug die. Check the fuel line. Got it! Caruso, fix me up. Go, Dino! Chillin'! No way! That is so cool! Swimming with locusts! More like swimming in locusts! I think I'm gonna be sick. Can I keep them all? 
No, Buzz. You cannot keep a swarm of locusts. Where would you put them? Besides, they already belong to someone, and I think we should return them. Well, thanks for the chilling and spilling. We've got a race to finish. Aren't you guys too far behind? You probably already lost. We may be behind. But it's not over till it's over. Plus, we managed to make a few changes to our eco-vehicle that might just give us an edge. Here, Here come, come three of the contestants. contestants. It's neck and neck. Oh, oh. Well, wait a minute. It's the, the team, team from Kittery Point. Point. And, and they've, they've taken, taken the lead. lead. And they just won the race. What an amazing finish. That's all I have to say. Wow, I mean, you two came from way behind to win this race. You should be very proud. And I have to say, the whole Wings transformation was truly inspired, especially given the fact that current air travel leaves a very large carbon footprint on the Earth's environment. Very inventive, you two, very inventive. So, I have to ask, whose idea was this anyway? It was hers, she did it. No way, it was his. Actually, I guess we did it together. Taking each other's ideas and... And perfecting them, together. Awesome! Sounds like a true team effort. Now, who wants to hold the trophy? Huh? Don't know what it is, sir. They said it was a special delivery for you. Open it. Nice work, you two. You really were a team. Well, at least we learned to be one. You know, one of my favorite quotes from my main man, Thomas Edison, is that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I think it ought to be something more like, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% teamwork. Yeah, great, okay, enough with the talky talk. Where's the cash prize you won? Let's break it out, let's start spending. Um, we kind of gave the money away. To someone we thought could really use it. I'm ruined. My farm is completely ruined. Dear sir, my teammate and I use some of your equipment. Please accept this check as reimbursement and use whatever is left over to cover the destruction caused by the locusts. I'm shaved. I'm shaved! Woohoo! Nice work. Right back at you, teammate. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.